Okay. So there we have the Nepenthes. That's Nile right there. It's this guy. As you can see, it's put on quite a vine. It's even wrapped around this Nepenthes no or Utricularia nolumbifolia, which um, putting out a bunch of leaves back here. Can't see mm, right there. It's by this um, Arianges Ludio alba. So yeah, we're gonna cut this back. Uh, so okay, let me get the paper towels. We want to want to do this quick so that the cut does not oxidize. And I really should not be holding this in my mouth. That is rainwater. It's riddled with bacteria. Okay, so. I'm going to come back here. I can get a clear view of this. See. This is the problem with Nepenthes in the terrarium. Is they overlap each other. Okay, see. So. That right there is the vine. And we cut it. This way Meadowview will be getting a nice vine of this. Then toss pruners on my bed. We just simply... Oh, another thing I forgot. We are going to cut these lower leaves. So we can get paper towel around that stem. The ever imported stem. Okay, so now that we have that, just simply take the paper towel Easy rapidly round. Doesn't have to be clean. This is just going 20 minutes down the road. So normally you'd stick it in already existing Nepenthes media and bring that out, clean up the cut leaves, and throw those in the trash. And there you have it Nepenthes cutting. Wrong way to focus. Eh. Okay. More. So there you have it. Nepenthes cutting. Easy peasy. And now that that's done, simply just squeeze it. I should have got a larger bag into the plastic bag. I will then take over to Meadowview, and Richard and I will pop this up. And we have root tone over there, or the rooting hormone, I should say. So everything will be taken care of with that. And we do not want to get this developing pitcher. Actually, I am going to cut that off because this will save energy and allow the plant to put more effort into roots so it will survive. For sure. There we go. Throw that in the trash, and there we go. Bagged up cutting. This is how I ship them as well. So, the few people that I've sold cuttings to or traded cuttings with will be familiar with this packaging. So, um, I'm gonna get another bag because I have another one that I have to cut. Um, that was Nepenthes Lorraine. It's become quite a beast in there. Um, it is single on it by Bashiana, so it will get pretty large, but it has a basil on it, so it's not that big of a worry for me. That yeah, looks so much better in there now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go cut that. Um, yeah, that's how you take Nepenthes cuttings. Pretty easy. Um, the hardest part is just waiting for them to root because uh, you see my face. So the hard part is just getting them to root, because, obviously, slow-growing plants are going to be slow to root in. Um, so just basically a waiting game, keeping in good humidity, perfect conditions. Um, this probably sounds pretty intimidating now that I'm thinking about it, but uh, yeah, so if you're a beginner, I do not recommend doing this. Get someone who knows how to do it to help you. That's why I guess I'm doing this. Um, I can't really record a video of it rooting, because that takes months. So, um, I haven't had really good luck with them lately. Like, I got some cuttings from Ron Dieterman at Atlanta Botanical Gardens that sat in a car in a hotel room for about five days before we got them. Potted up from that trip that I will put the playlist in the link or below in the description. Um, the Gulf Coast trip. So those went for with us from Georgia all the way to Texas and back to Raleigh and then with me back to Virginia. So, 
Yeah. I had Jim Namphora, Eustachia by Alba Marginata, a true Nepenthes Ime, um, Lobrata by Maxima, which is supposed to be really cool looking. That was a huge vine at the Atlanta Botanical Gardens, by the way. Um, it's in their back growing room that I got to see, and it was monstrous. Huge. It, like, literally touched the top of the greenhouse. It was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so that... No. That's how you take a Nepenthes cutting, and I'm going to stop rambling and end this. Yes.